Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful geometric math problem. Let us here we have given a semicircle and there is a right angle triangle inside the semicircle where the height of the triangle is 1 unit and its hypotenuse is square root of 10. Our target is to find out the shaded area of the semicircle. Now to find out this shaded, shaded area, first we will try to find out the area of this triangle, then the area of the semicircle. And in last we will subtract the area of triangle from the area of semicircle. Now to find out the area of this triangle, here we need its length of its third side. So part it, let us suppose this is our figure A, B, C and D. And let us suppose this length is equal to X. So here we will try to find out the value of X. Now look into this one triangle B, C, D. This is a right angle triangle. So here we can easily find out the value of x using the Pythagoras theorem. So by using Pythagoras theorem, we can write using Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so here our hypotenuse is square root of 10 base is x and perpendicular is 1 so this will become square root of 10 whole square is equal to x square plus 1 square now this square and this square will be cancelled this will become only 10 is equal to x square plus 1 square is simply 1 here we will move this one to the right hand side this will become 10 minus 1 so the value of x square will become 10 minus 1 is simply 9 here we will take square root on both sides so this square square will be cancelled so the value of x is equal to 3 so here x is equal to 3 is the value of x and is the length of this third side of this right angle triangle now we will try to find out the area of this triangle bcd so for that here we need the values of height which is 1 unit and the value of base that is 3 units. So therefore the area of this triangle BCD will become area of this right angle triangle BCD that will become half times base time at height. So here the base is 3 units. This is 1 by 2 times 3 times one because the height is one so simplifying this it gives him three by two so let us suppose this is our equation number first which is the area of this right angle triangle now what is our next target our next target is to find out the area of this semicircle now to find out the area of this semicircle here we will complete this semicircle we will make this is a circle and we will also expand this one line segment CD so this figure will become now let us suppose this is point E now it will be the length of line segment and it will be the length of this line segment according to the symmetry of lines here the length of CD is 1 unit so this length DE will be also 1 unit now look at to this line segment AB here db is 3 units as this is the side of this triangle but this ab is the diameter of this circle which is 2r so here this length will be the diameter of circle minus 3 so this will become diameter of the circle is 2r minus 3 units now look to this one picture here we have two chords which are intersecting each other chord ab and chord cd so here we will use chord intersecting theorem that states that the product of two segments of one chord is always equal to the product of two segments of the second chord so according to this theorem from here from this figure we can write the product of ad times db will be equal to product of cd times d e here we have the value of ad is 2r minus 3 db is 3 cd is 1 and d is also 1 so we we'll substitute these values here so this will become here db is 3 units this will become 3 times ad is 
टू आर माइनस थ्री इन दीज टू आर वन वन यूनिट्स सो दिस विल बिकम मल्टीप्लाई दिस इन सर्ट दिस विल बिकम सिक्स आर माइनस थ्री टाइम थ्री इज नाइन इज इक्वल टू दिस इज वन यू विल मूव दिस टू द राइट हैंड साइड दिस बिकम सिक्स आर नाइन प्लस वन इज टेन दिस बिकम टेन नो विल डिवाइड बोस डिवाइड बाई सिक्स This six and this six will be cancelled, and we will divide these two numbers by two. Three times two is six, and five times two is ten. So the value of R and radius will become this will become five by three. Here we have the value of R, the value of the radius. Now we will try to find out the area of this semicircle. Now, as we know that the area of a circle is phi r square. So the area of semicircle will be half of pi r square. So therefore, we can write the area of this semicircle as area of semicircle will become half times pi r square. Now we substitute the value of r here. That is five by three. So this will become half times pi times r is five by three. All square. So next, this will become five by two times five square is simply twenty five, and three square is simply nine. Now let's simplify this number. So this will become twenty five five divided by nine times two is eighteen. So this is the area of this semicircle. Now let us suppose this is our equation number second. Now what is our target here? Our target is here is to find out this shaded area. So for this here, we will subtract the area of the triangle that is three by two from the area of the semicircle. So here the value and the area of shaded semicircle will become shaded area that will become area of the semicircle that is. Twenty-five five by eighteen minus area of the right angle triangle. That is three by two. Let's simplify the right hand side. So this will become LCM of eighteen and two is simply eighteen. Dividing eighteen by this number gives him one. One time this number is twenty-five five minus dividing eighteen by two gives him nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. So subtracting the value of phi here, this will become twenty-five times here the value of phi up to four decimal places is three point one four one five minus twenty-seven divided by eighteen, and simplifying this, it gives him our final shaded area of the semicircle. So it gives him about two point eight six. Square units. So remember that this is not the exact value of the shaded area. This is an approximate value. So finally, the shaded area of this semicircle is two point eight six square units, which is our final answer and final target. And last, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step geometry math problems. Thanks for watching.